Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel where we talk all about the GATE exam and we are studying DBMS. This video is about a very common statement that every binary relation is always in BCNF. You must have noticed in the previous video that I was using this statement again and again. And I was by default saying it is true, it is true, it is true. Yes, it is true. But how and why? I never told that. It is seen in the previous gate questions that this statement was commonly used in most of the true and false type of questions framed over normalization. Now in this video, I'm going to explain you with an example that how it is always going to be true. Before I start, I hope you all understand what a binary relation is. A binary relation is a relation which contains two attributes. Number two, okay? One and two, only two attributes will be contained. That's why it is binary. So now I have taken, let's take a example. So I have taken an example R with two attributes A and B. Functional dependency set I have left empty now. You just decide what are the non-trivial functional dependencies possible over this relation R. Okay. Whatever you are finding it out, write in your notebook. Okay. So here, I hope you all are writing that only two are possible. One is A can determine the value of B and the other is B can determine the value of A. Correct? Correct. Right everyone? Now you must be thinking ma'am, why are you coming to functional dependency? It's very simple. You all have seen that the basic is functional dependency which leads to the key and which leads to the normal form. So whatever conclusion you have to come up, you have to start from the root level that is functional dependency. So as we know that the normal form of a particular relation is dependent upon what functional dependencies are present and what is a key that will only determine the nature of the normal form. So here for this example, I'm going to take up various cases. So like case number one in which relation is as it is R, A, B. What I'm going to change is I'm going to change the functional dependency set. set. So we have two functional dependencies. Out of these two, I'm going to make combination. Okay. So the first combination, let's take that it says A determines the value of B. This is the only functional dependency present in this relation. So for that matter, you all know what is a key? Nothing but then A, correct? If I take A closure, A and B, and so my relation is determined and A becomes a key. B is non-key attribute, A is key completely. So a determinant is key completely. So what is the type of normal form? Certainly BCNF, no doubt, okay. So case one has shown that it is in BCNF. If you take A to B, it is going to be in BCNF. Now take up the case number two. Again, I, the R is as it is and I'm just writing the functional dependency and this time I'm taking B to A. Now I hope you, I even need not to repeat it. You all understand when you have B to A as a functional dependency in a relation R with AB, what becomes a key? The key is nothing but then only B, right? B determines the value of A. So when you take the B closure, B A and this is singleton also. So once again, determinant is nothing but then the key itself. Candidate key or super key. If this is the part of determinant, the functional dependency has no flaw. Correct? Correct. And so once again, what is the nature? BCNF. Certainly BCNF. Right? So here you have seen in the two cases, when we took one of the functional dependency, the other functional dependency, in both the cases it is in BCNF. Now let's take the third case. Okay. Now what should we do? Let's take the functional dependency both A to B as well as B to A. That's very much possible. All of you have seen in the previous examples that even A can determine the value of B and also B can determine the value of A. But in such a case, what becomes a key? A closure gives you AB and B closure also gives you AB. Correct? Both of them are determining the complete relation R. Okay? And so what becomes a key? A as well as B. Right? Right. And in that case, 
a candidate key determining the value of candidate key not a problem at all candidate key determining the value of candidate key not a problem at all here i want to mention do not get confused with the violation of bcnf because that is not key determining key that is key attribute determining key attribute so please do not get this, uh, confused with that it is complete key determining a complete key so this is not violation of bcnf and so and so it's easy to say that the relation is in bcnf okay yeah now the last case which is left out with us is let's take it up so let me take the case number 4 so here case 4 what does the case 4 says the relation r is certainly ab yes that is exactly what we are discussing and function dependency set is empty fine we have no functional dependency defined there is no constraint defined by the designer okay so that means either not the a determining the value of b nor the b determining the value of a but we still have to find out the key of the relation to say that this is in which relation which normal form correct and for that matter you understand when there is no functional dependency defined then what becomes a key the relation r as it is becomes a key that means ab is a key completely the set of all attribute together defines as a key i mean that is the super key always and that itself becomes a candidate key also correct so now once you have this as a candidate key and the super key and if you have no functional dependencies which is which could be checked out then what it says it says nothing but then relation is in bcnf okay the relation is in bcnf so guys right here in front of you i took up four cases and you have seen with each case 1 2 3 and 4 every time relation is in bcnf okay so whatever type of attribute you can include in your binary relation you will include just two attributes so there are possibility of this case this case this one or this there is no other fifth possibility okay only these four are possible and with these four possible options as we have proved it it is always going to be in bcnf so is it not worth to say that yes every binary relation is always i i think means to say this right here it is always in bcnf so here you have understood it clearly that why it is in bcnf and i hope with this explanation it's not just important to know how it is i think this will lead you in order to analyze and make further statements to and for judgments you would be able to take up example and do your own homework to you know do this deduction and this analysis that yes how this statement leads to a true one or a false one correct or not okay i'll see you once again very soon and if at all you have any more doubts you can put in the comment section and i'm going to come up with the next section of the database now most likely sql so see you once again very soon until then bye bye take care